What's up, you guys? It's Bob here with Midnight Snack. It's Midnight Snack. It's, uh, you know, it's Midnight Snack. It's, if you've seen any of the other videos, I mean, you know that it's midnight and it's a snack and it's, it's something you eat. I, I, I don't know what else, I don't know what else to say. That's, that's pretty much all it is. I guess it, it's a midnight snack if you're in like the Heartland area, Central Time. East Coast, I guess it's 10 o'clock and in the... Sorry, I always screw that up. West Coast is 10 o'clock. East Coast, it's it's 1 a.m. So I feel like I feel like nothing good happens after midnight. So I, I probably wouldn't even want to eat after midnight. I guess, I guess if I was was on the East Coast, I'd be doing this at midnight over there, 11 o'clock here. But either way, that's that's all beside the point. None of that matters. Uh, I mean, I mean it does, but you know, for for what I'm doing right now, this it doesn't matter. It, Either way, if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and hit the like button before I ramble anymore, because otherwise I'm going to forget to ask you to, and that'd be great for the YouTube algorithm, because it will help me with magic internet money, and then I'll be able to buy more pure and simple apple pie bars from Aldi, so they can sustain me. Yeah, we're going to get into that today. We're going to get into pure and simple apple pie bars. Uh, we're going to take a look at those, see what's going on, and then if you wouldn't mind too... Um, please check out this collegelife.com. It's a website. There's, there's stuff about college, but to tell you the truth, it's not even, uh, that's the name of it, but it's, a, it's got all kinds of stuff. Like you can search for jobs. If you're looking for remote work, you can search for jobs. You can, uh, you can do other stuff too. Like you can ask talent professionals at different companies questions and they'll answer them. So that's kind of cool. You, you can, you can do that. That's, that's something. And, and yeah, you can do stuff like that. And there's some other additional stuff, but for the most part, let's just stick with that for now. Right. Let's get into this. Let's get into this pure and simple like button, apple pie bar box thing and just see like what what's going on, all right? Pure and simple, plain and simple. It's pure and simple. Apple pie, fruit and nut bars. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's like some kind of apple pie of some sort, or I guess it's just a pie and then there's the apple. <clears throat> They're combined to make the bar and there's only seven ingredients. And there's five bars, seven ingredients, five bars. And I, I don't know what, I assume sugar is one of them. I don't know. We'll get into the ingredients, but Elevation is Aldi's like healthy food brand. If you're, if you're at all familiar with that, it's kind of, you can get like, they have protein powders and protein bars. And I'll be going through some of those too, kind of a later time. But for now, we're taking a look at these Elevation pure and simple apple pie fruit and nut bars. And, and they, I've actually had some of these already and I don't want to give anything away before I actually get into eating one. But as you can see, they're not, they're not huge. They really, they pack a lot into these for the amount of calories and they're, they're very dense little bars. Like they're, they're like, yeah, they're pretty heavy, pretty dense. But so elevation, pure and simple, these are dairy free, they're vegan, they're gluten free and they're non GMO. Now, not everything I review is all those things, actually rarely the things I review are all those things. I mean, last thing I did was, it was, it was not, I don't think, if my memory is, is still good. Um, but yeah, so just taking a look at the front of this, um, each bar is 1.6 ounces. It feels a little heavier than that, but I, I guess, I don't know, 45 grams. Uh, 200 calories, one gram of fat, 10 grams of sodium, 18 grams of total sugars each. And we'll get into specifics on those sugars in a second. But Elevation's thing is uh, Elevation pure and simple bars are carefully crafted with high quality ingredients. So this, I guess this is a bit about their specific bars. It's not just like Elevation in general. Uh, they provide a good source of dietary fiber, contains 10 grams of like button, total fat, oh, sorry, total 10 grams of total fat per serving. Gear up and grab a bar to kickstart your journey with Elevation. So I think the gist of this branding is that you can you can go and hike to high elevations, and and these will these products will fuel you. If you're gonna go climb a mountain, I don't see anybody climbing a mountain on here, but I gotta figure that there's some products with the elevation brand name where there's like a a guy or a girl climbing a mountain. They've got like their you know climbing equipment and stuff, and they're, they're like hooked into the mountain and and doing dangerous mountain stuff that. It's not really my thing, but 
Either way, let's go on to the nutrition facts real quick. Five servings per container. So there's five bars in each of these boxes. 200 calories a bar, as I said. 10 grams of fat, which is 12% of your daily value. Only one gram is saturated fat. So that's 5% of your daily amount of saturated fat. And then you're looking at some good ugh, polyunsaturated fats, 3.5 grams of that, 5 grams of monosaturated fat. Pretty good. That's You need some of those fats in your diet. And there's no cholesterol. There's not enough sodium for it to even register as a percentage. It's 10, grams of, 10 milligrams of sodium, but 0%. And 9% uh, of your total carbs, 24 grams. Uh, about 15% of your dietary fiber, which is good. You gotta have fiber in your diet. Fiber's, fiber's pretty important. Uh, it's, it does lots of stuff with with your poop, I think. Pretty, pretty sure, last I checked. Yeah. Uh, 18 grams total sugars, but none of those sugars are added sugars. So the sugar is from the fruit, I imagine. And the other things, because the ingredients, which I totally ripped up, and so I got to read the ingredients on the bar, not the box, are dried apple, which I guess you could you could probably gather that there's dried apple in it based on the apple and the pie and the pie and the apple. Almonds, dates, walnuts, water, and it contains 2% or less of raisins and cinnamon. And it contains almonds, walnuts. It might contain peanuts or other tree nuts and soy, may contain pits and nutshell fragments. So just stuff they're going to have at one of these factories where they're processing it. So something to keep in mind if you've got allergies to any of that stuff. Um, didn't think about the dates before. I was not thinking about dates. I could kind of taste the walnuts. Uh, walnuts or almonds. I, I figured it had something like that in there, but there's not much in the way of walnuts. Uh, as usual, it's got the Aldi twice as nice guarantee. So if you take a bite of this and you hate it, you can send it back to Aldi, and they'll give you your money back. And I think they uh, they promised something else, too. Yeah, they'll, they'll replace the item, so they'll give you something better if you really, really don't like this for some reason. I've never run into a product from Aldi where I actually spit it out and go and demand my money back. Uh, I should probably learn, like, some angry German shouting so I can, if I ever need to, I can use it and, like... Yell, stick, Deigen, I, I don't even, I can't speak. The only German I speak would, it's probably like from South Park, and that would get this video demonetized, I bet, if I, if I started speaking that. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, moving on. Let's just take a quick look before we rip it open at the, uh, there's 10% of your daily iron in this. Not, no vitamin D, a uh, tiny bit of potassium and a little bit of calcium, 4% of your daily value of calcium. And yeah, so pretty simple. Um, it's non-GMO, verified, only seven ingredients. And actually, they said seven ingredients, but if you look at, there's really only, I mean, there's like fragments of some ingredients, but dried apple, almonds, dates, and walnuts. So there's really only four major ingredients. I don't know why they... I guess they feel like they got to list all of them, say seven, just for like an ethics standpoint. I don't know. But there's really only four, dried apple, almonds, dates, walnuts, and there's just like fragments of three other things. But anyhow, let's rip this open. <clears throat> like any fruit and nut bar, um, it is dense. And as you can see, there's, you can see like, looking at it now, I can tell it's, okay, yeah, there's a pretty obvious almond in there. But it's it's a pretty thick bar, <clears throat> standard fruit bar. This isn't going to be your your post workout bar probably. It is four grams of protein, so you could eat it post workout, I guess. But if you're like lifting heavy weights, you probably want to stick with something that's got a lot more protein in it. This would be more like for a midday snack, or you could you could have it as a midnight snack, I guess, or a one a.m. or a ten p.m. or whatever. But yeah, I mean it. It looks like it's got it's got a lot of like buttons smashed into it, and not a lot of protein. So um, that's the only thing I don't like. Not a lot of protein, but you can't have protein in everything. That might mess up the taste. And these, uh, let's just take a bite and see what it's like. Right?
Okay. I think it's good. <clears throat> it is a fruit and nut bar with all natural sugar. So very dense. There's a lot to chew. It's I like how small it is, but then how dense it like there's there is a lot. It's a very filling snack. 200 calories. It's a solid snack unless you're like trying to bulk up a ton. 200 is a good little snack to have. I think it's good. If you're not into eating tons of fruit and you're not into eating super dense stuff that has no added sugar, this probably won't be for you. But if you're a health nut, no pun intended, you'll probably enjoy it. Because the nuts and the fruit and the, the pack, the packing. I know some people don't like dates, but personally, I really like this. I could see myself buying more of these. I could see myself just keeping them around, maybe keeping one in the gym bag. I don't think they would melt that much on like a hot summer day. I mean, they might get kind of sticky. They might like, but I don't think, I think it'll probably hold together pretty well for the most part. So I'm going to slap this with a 7.9 out of 10. I'm going to say yes to recommending it. And as far as being like a good late night snack, this actually carbs puts me back to sleep like that. If I wake up like last night, I woke up at 1am. It was because I forgot to eat enough and hit the Stairmaster hard and I burned a lot of calories, but then I didn't eat enough yesterday. I should have run down in the basement and grabbed one of these, but I have the basement from the movie Saw, so I don't want to go in that place at whatever, 1, 2 in the morning, because I imagine there's like demonic spirits from other worlds that are kind of being conjured in my basement. If you saw it, you'd know what I'm talking about. It's it's you. It's not a place you want to be in the dead of night. Um, much better to be safe up here with my desk and the computer and a phone to call 911 if I see any... I don't know, uh, demonic spiritual monsters coming out of, like, the cellar or something. I don't know. But that's it. Sorry for that. Keep in mind, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, please check out this collegelife.com. Please check out your weatherconnection.com, too. It's a website that has weather forecasts. Uh, it's not the best website, but it's a website. So I'll see you next time on Midnight Snack.